What's going on guys, Carmine here, and as Season 6 continues to progress, I've been getting the question from some of my newer subscribers, why do you hate Sam and Gilly so much? Naturally, some of you who have been with me for a long time probably have a huge grin on your face because you expect me to go off on this long rant about how much they suck. I'm about to disappoint you. I'm not going to go off on a rant, but I will calmly explain why they're technically considered filler at this point. Now, for those of you who don't know what filler is, God bless you, because ignorance is bliss. As any anime fan can tell you, filler is an ancient evil that sucks the life out of anybody watching the show. But in some cases, filler can actually be pretty good. For those of you who don't know what filler is, let me explain then. Filler is basically extra content added to a television show that was not in the original story. Its purpose is mainly to fill time so the episode can reach the designated runtime, or in some cases, because there isn't a lot of story in the original material to adapt from, so they need to make some stuff up to fill in that time. A lot of the times it's unrelated to the main plot, it doesn't change relationships between characters, and in a sense you could say that filler in an episode is the equivalent to deleted scenes in a movie. Sam and Gilly, at this point, are filler. I'll give you guys an example. Remember that one scene in Season 5, Episode 7, when Gilly's about to be raped by those Night's Watch guys, and Sam comes in and try to rescue her, but then he gets his ass kicked, and then Ghost saves them, and then she pity fucks him? Yeah, that's filler. Why? Well, watch all of Season 5 again and skip this entire scene. Will you notice a difference? No, you wouldn't. It has no importance to anybody, and it just serves to fill time from the cool things going on. That time wasted could have been used to expand House Martell conflict, introduce a brand new character, or even give us a better insight on what else is going on in the world that the audience should know about. In a show like Game of Thrones, which was adapted from a Bible-like tome that averages about 890 pages per book, the fact that they need filler is insane. But don't get me wrong, sometimes filler can be amazing. Take for example Season 1 Episode 5. Right before Ned's confrontation with Jamie, there is a scene between Cersei and King Robert about the state of their marriage and how they feel about each other. This wasn't in the original book, so is this considered filler? Yes, but it's good filler. We learn more about Robert and Cersei, we get an insight into their marriage and, and how things went so wrong. You know, it's a great scene that helps us understand these people a bit better, and it was great. It helps us care and sympathize with them. Another example of good filler is in Season 1, Episode 4, when Jory is conversing with Jamie. This is a needless scene and can be easily be removed, but it's one of my favorites. Why? Well, these two warriors are talking about a pivotal moment in the Greyjoy Rebellion when Thoros of Mir charged into the fight with his flaming sword. These two are talking about it like two veterans of combat, and it's a small scene, but one that is also pretty cool. We learn more about the mythology of this world. It serves to keep us immersed, because they're not talking about events related to the main plot, but about some far-off conflict that happened years ago. It helps us believe that these guys actually live in this world, and that they really have seen quite a bit of things. So where does Sam and Gilly fit into all of this? Well, quite simply, they're a wasted potential and just boring at this point. It's like beating a dead horse. We get it, you two are in love, shut up about it. At this point, it's just bad writing. Did we need that scene on the boat with Sam throwing up and Gilly reminding him that he's the baby's father? No, that entire scene could have been written better. How? Have Sam and Gilly arrive at their destination in Old Town and Sam turns to Gilly and says, I can't have you with me at the Citadel because they don't allow women so I'm taking you to my home of Horn Hill. Boom. Done. But no, we get more than three minutes of the same old, I love you, no I love you, yeah we get it, shut up. In Season 3 I could understand it, in Season 4 I could tolerate it, but in Season 5? Really? And now in 6? What's the point in reminding us that they love each other? It's been happening for the past 20 episodes whenever they're on screen. It's dumb and quite frankly wasted potential especially for the audience who some of you have never read the books. Okay, so maybe the show can't give us better scenes with other characters. So how about they write better material for these two and you're probably wondering, is that even possible? It is. I'm about to do it right now. Let's start with Gilly. So, okay, there's one thing about every sci-fi and fantasy movie or show that they all have in common. That one character who is new to everything they're experiencing and going through and the supporting characters who serve to guide them through these experiences and explain events, plot, other characters, and in some cases, even the world to them. This is the everyman Joe Somebody character who we can relate to. Some of these people include Luke Skywalker. Sarah Connor, and even Neo from The Matrix. These characters are essentially the everyday person who are suddenly put into dangerous situations and must overcome those obstacles to survive. 
Gaily fits in this category, and because she's very new to this world, she could learn about it, and as she learns, we learn along with her. I mean, Gilly was born beyond the wall, and she knows nothing but that small hut her father kept her in, and technically every character we've ever met, with the exception of Danny, knows everything about this world. Every single character we meet is e either royalty or close to it, and as we've seen, when you're at a young age, you learn from your maesters about basic world events, other royal families, and even wars and, and the heroes who fought in them. Gilly knows none of that, and she's traveling around with the Santa Claus of knowledge. I'm not saying all her scenes need to be some kind of boring history lesson for the audience about this world, but it could help identify the mythology of the world and help the audience better understand it. For example, remember that one scene in Season 5 when Sam is giving papers for Jon Snow to sign, and Roose Bolton's name pops up and Jon gets a little annoyed at it? That could have been brought up to Gilly later on, and she would have obviously asked about it, and Sam could have told her about Roose Bolton betraying Jon's brother, and how House Bolton has a long bloody history with the Starks. Like, did you know that before House Bolton pledged their loyalty to the Starks, that they were actually enemies? Members of House Bolton would capture Starks on the battlefield, flay their skin off, and hang them up in some secret room in their castle. There is also a rumor that the 13th Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, who married a White Walker female, was a member of House Bolton. If you didn't buy the season box sets for $50, then you probably didn't know that. Information like that could have been used to educate the audience about past world events, which are cool and very telling, and allows us to better understand how things work. Gilly can be used better, and it's a shame that they don't even try. All they really do is make her the damsel in distress type of character, and, that's, and that gets old very quickly. As for Sam... Well, he's a walking library. The guy knows a lot about this world, and he's very underutilized, especially back in Season 5 with Stannis and even Melisandre. There could have been a really cool scene with him talking to Stannis, and what we got was okay, but there could have been more. There could have been this really cool scene with Stannis talking to him about how Starly trains some of the best soldiers in Westeros and how Stannis appreciates the bravery he showed when he killed a White Walker. I would have loved to see Stannis tell Sam that strength isn't everything and that sometimes intelligence is even more powerful. Another cool interaction they could have done is with Sam and Melisandre. There could have been a great scene between the two where Sam asks her, Hey, you burn people for your god, right? Why don't you burn animals instead of people like pigs or sheep? It would have been a great question and then have him continue on by asking her how the Lord of Light works exactly from a scientific point of view and then have Sam try to debunk her miracles as just illusions or coincidences. It would have been a smart way to use the character and it would have been fun for the audience to have a science versus religion type of discussion in the show. It would have been cool, but no. Let's spend most of our time with these characters beating them up and doing the same old tiring tropes we've seen over and over again until everybody just doesn't care anymore. So basically, let me just sum it up with this. The showrunners can give these characters interesting things to do that serve a greater purpose for the sake of the audience without it breaking character. But they don't. Sam and Gilly have become the, that annoying couple we all know in real life who won't hang up the phone on each other. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. How about you both shut up before I throw your phones out the fucking window? Now, I'm sure Sam will have things to do this season, which I'm excited for. I really want to see him interact with the other maesters and even his father when it comes to it. But other than that, Sam and Gilly serve no purpose whatsoever, and every time they're on screen, I just consider it filler. Time better spent on other characters who have more to do but barely get enough screen time. But I've spoken about this subject long enough. Let me know it down below if you guys agree or disagree with me. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys next time. Baba Booey.